We're so excited about the brand new Carnival Mardi Gras ship. We're gonna share with you everything you need to know about dining on the Mardi Gras. Some of them are favorites you'll remember from other Carnival trips, but there's a lot of new offerings. All of that coming right up. We're gonna break this video up into several categories. First, we'll have the dining options that are included in your cruise cost, and then we'll have the additional charge dining options, which you pay more for. We're also gonna be talking about the dress code and some other tips that we have for you. So what's included? Big Chicken, Shaq's new restaurant, debuting on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Here you'll get all the chicken, lunch and dinner, offer crispy strips, sandwiches, fried chicken, and more. I really wanna try the fried chicken. Shaq will also offer breakfast, which will be chicken and biscuits, omelets, and more. You won't have to worry about getting up to enjoy breakfast. It's not, it's served until three o'clock. So that is always great. Yeah, I think that's helpful. It's being served till three when you're on your vacation. Yeah, that's for sure. Another all-included restaurant is Guy's Burger Joint. You may recognize Guy Fieri from the Food Network. He's had quite a few shows on yeah. there. Aaron loves burgers, and this is supposed to be the best burger joint at sea. So I'm sure we will be there to try that. And this is actually on all the Carnival ships, so some of you may maybe have already checked it out. Also another staple of Carnival is the Blue Iguana Cantina that will be on the ship. It offers Mexican dining with fresh tacos and burritos and homemade tortillas. I love homemade tortillas. Uh, and it will be open for breakfast and lunch. And again, this is something that's on a lot of those ships. I'm sure you've tried it before. Let us know what you think of these restaurants that you've probably had before on Carnival in the comments below. Something that is coming new and I'm so excited about is this Street Eats. It's new on the Mardi Gras. There are different flavors from your favorite street trucks and carts all coming together. There's gonna to be three open air stations, one which focuses on steaming, so they're going to have like bao buns, and I love bao buns. The, another one will be on skillet, so they'll have satay kind of foods, and the last one will be fried, so all your empanadas and falafels. I think it should be a fun variety, and I'm interested to see what the hours are because I would be popping by for those bow buns all the time. Yeah, it's a great spin on food trucks and they're so popular. I think that'll be great. There's also, of course, the main dining rooms, which are always popular on these cruise ships. Full three course meals are offered here. Uh, attire is cruise casual or elegant, so you'll have the option either way. It's a little bit more formal, but you'll still want to make sure you're dressing for fun and comfortability. It's not Cunard or Viking, like you don't have to dress up in a, in a suit, for instance. Uh, the menu changes daily, which uh, we always love. The rotation of food is always great. Um, so you won't get bored with the different offerings you have on ship, uh, which is great. You also are able to choose early dining, late dining, or your, your time dining, and we'll explain those a little bit later in this video. The main dining rooms also offer breakfast. It's a great way to start the day with some table service breakfast. There's a good variety and selection of dishes as always, and we enjoy taking advantage of this as many times as we can on the cruise uh, because we do enjoy the sit down dining experience. Another Guy Fieri restaurant is Guy's Pig and Anchor Barbecue. And this is an authentic smokehouse and barbecue. They've got offerings like brisket, salmon, some great sides like mac and cheese, as well as potato salad and collard greens. So it's this option is for lunch, it is free. So it's included when you go for lunch. We'll talk about the upcharge because for dinner, if you want to go and have some of the smokehouse barbecue, and it's also a brew house, they talk about that at dinner as well, uh, that will be an upcharge. I don't know how they didn't call this guy's flavor town. I mean, <laughs> you should talk to Carnival. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he's got a restaurant called Flavor Town somewhere. But anyways, there's also the Lido Marketplace. This is a buffet or the buffet. It's open 24 hours. It's got a variety of options uh, and new ones every day. Of course, they rotate around. Lots of indoor and outdoor seating. And this will be your standard 24-hour buffet that everybody loves. Uh, yeah. And they have swirls. This is also open 24 seven. So if you are an ice cream lover, Carnival has got you covered so you can enjoy that anytime. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, frozen yogurt, soft serve. There's a good variety there. And they also have Pizzeria del Capitano. This is their staple, staple pizza place. It's also open 24 hours. It is import, they import the flour uh, to make the dough and fresh mozzarella and toppings that come from Italy. 
They have lovely thin crust pizza and I would definitely be down for midnight pizza. And I think they'll also deliver it to you anywhere on the ship for an <laughs> additional charge. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I like a nice thin crust pizza. I know you do too. So um, I definitely think this would be somewhere I'll be hitting up at some point. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So our last two points for included in your cruise fare, they do have supports or offerings for specialty diets. So their chefs are trained to be able to prepare, you know, gluten-free, vegetarian, low carb, whatever it is that you've got going on. So just make sure you let them know. And we're interested if you've been on Carnival and they've done this before, because I know on Princess we tried dairy-free and it actually wasn't as smooth as I was hoping for, mm -hmm. maybe because we're used to Disney's level of uh, their specialty diet support. So interested to see how Carnival does it, being that they actually have this as a block on their website. So hopefully it's pretty good. The other thing that they offer are cooking demonstrations. So you can learn to cook from the Carnival chefs. They do tricks and everything that they've got that help make all these wonderful dinners that everybody can enjoy. They're hour-long presentations and they're fun for the whole family. So this is nice that it's included. You'll want to make sure that you get booked into one of those. Also, if you're interested in this video, we have a, we have several others. We have an NCL beverage package, everything you need to know, a dining explain to tell you everything you need to know about NCL dining. And of course, we also have the everything you need to know about Princess Cruise Lines. Those links will be in the first pinned comment below. So we're now gonna talk about the additional charge restaurants. These are specialty dining experiences that will, will cost a little bit more to eat there. They haven't announced all of the pricing yet. Uh, the ones that we do know we will mention. If we don't mention a cost, that's because they just haven't disclosed it as of the time of making this. So on to Emerald Lagasse's Emerald's Bistro 1396. Finally, we have a different celebrity chef <laughs> other than Guy Fieri, although he's coming up again. Uh, this is located in the French Quarter. This is Emerald Lagasse's first restaurant at sea, and they will have authentic Bayou flavors and dishes like fried oysters, barbecue shrimp, jambalaya, and more. They will also offer breakfast like shrimp and grits and banana foster crepes. It'd be great if they had those, uh, what are those, those donut things oh, from Disney? Oh, yeah, I can't remember the oh, name of those. The They're name. so good. Yeah, I'm sure. We want to see donuts too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm sure you'll remember the name if you do comments. Uh, so as Aaron said, back to Guy Fieri. So just wanted to mention his... Beignets. Beignets. <laughs> yeah, beignets. Right. <laughs> uh, Guy's Pigs and Anchor Bar and Brew House. So again, this is as authentic smokehouse and barbecue. And, you know, bar uh, brisket, salmon, you know, and all those delicious sides. It is open for dinner. There is an additional cost. But as we said, if you want to try it and you're not interested in, in paying for it, um, because there are other restaurants that you want to spend that additional charge at, then just set it up for lunch. So there's also Rudy's Sea Grill. This is a brand new fine dining restaurant exclusive to the Mardi Gras, which is great. They have some amazing food presentation. Uh, they, you know, you're usually used to seeing a lot of smiles at the, when you're eating dinner. However, how often does your, your food smile back? Yeah, they literally present the plate and the food is in smiles. It looks amazing. I'm just picturing like the IHOP smile pancake or whatever. <laughs> oh, this is to the next <laughs> level. Uh, focuses on seafood. So not my favorite type of restaurant, but Linda loves it. Uh, which I really enjoy being Linda. <laughs> and you might be able to convince myself to eat there, which I highly doubt. Maybe. We might have steak. Cost is $38 for adults and $12 for kids. Once you see this food presentation, you I think that's how I'm going to convince you to go. All right. At, I can I, try. It's pretty epic. <laughs> So another option for additional dining is Bonsai Tapanyaki. It's a small restaurant. They only seat 16, so you'll want to make sure you get your reservations for lunch and or dinner. It's a hibachi style restaurant, which is always a lot of fun. The chef's cooking right there in front of you, and that is $32 for adults. They usually make these hibachis very small. The one on the breakaway was also really small. I don't know why they, well, I guess the chef's trained specifically for this. So there's also Cucina del Capitano. I'm sure like the last time I tried to pronounce that, you'll let me know how I didn't pronounce it correctly in the comments below. Uh, it's an Italian restaurant with delicious antipasti, entrees, pasta, and dessert. It's, it's, it's served uh, famili <laughs> how is it? familia style. Familia style, it's a family style. Uh, the fun touch there is that the pictures inside and on the walls are from the crew and family albums. So it's, you know, very much family, which is great. It's going to cost $15 for adults and kids. Uh, kids under 11 will be $5 and it only serves dinner. 
Yes, so you'll wanna work that into your plans if you wanna check that out for dinner. I really like the idea of having the cruise pictures of their family on mm -hmm. the wall too. I think that would be really interesting to get to look at. So Aaron sort of touched on this next one earlier, looking at an additional cost for pizza delivery. So if you're hungry any time of the day, 24 hours, you can get some pizza delivered to you. A little unique thing about this is that they will deliver wherever you are. So if you're hanging out by the pool or somewhere on the ship, you know, for $5, they'll bring it to you. Now, Aaron knows, I'm very frugal. So if you want pizza, I don't care where you are, I will go get it for you <laughs> to save the $5. But depending what position you're in, you know, it can be very handy just to have it brought to you for $5. I'd love to know what the limits of anywhere on the ship are. Like while, <laughs> oh like while you're in the middle of a show or like at the spa, you know? Like. Yeah. Okay. So you'd press that. <laughs> you would try that. <laughs> There's also the GG Asian Kitchen. This is modern Asian dining. It's open for dinner only. It has different exotic flavors and familiar dishes. And that's going to be $15 for adults. And the kids under 11 will be $5, which is pretty good value. And of course, you cannot have a cruise ship without a steakhouse, and it's called Steakhouse. So at least, at, at least, least you know what point. you're getting. Yeah. Not wondering what you're getting on that one. Uh, menu has premium cuts of beef selections, of seafood, and expensive white, expensive wine lists. It's it does have a dress code. It's cruise casual or elegant. So again, it's a little bit a little bit more uh, upscale than others, uh, but you can still be fun and sort of casual with the way that you dress. Reservations can be made online as soon as your cruise is booked, which is always good. These get really busy. A lot of people love the steakhouses, of course. They're huge on a lot of these ships. Price includes appetizers, salads, entrees, sides, and desserts. It'll cost $38 for adults. Uh, and again, children under 11 will be $12. Yeah, a really fun thing that they have on Carnival ships, and it will also be on the Mardi Gras, is the Green Eggs and Ham Breakfast. I don't know if you've heard of this. You'll have to check it out, Erin. It's a super fun event that the whole family can enjoy. You get to sort of venture into the world of Dr. Seuss with all these fun colors. Some characters will be there and very creative meals. Some of the foods include, of course, green eggs and ham. You got right. funky French toast, and you can also get some other traditional breakfast items. But the cost isn't too bad for sort of a fun, you know, morning to have for for adults or kids it's only six dollars no that's good i think it you know i'm sure kids will love it and it's something a bit different there is the seafood shack which is uh i love having seafood from shacks but there's the seafood shack it's new england style seaside spot it's got lobster rolls for twelve dollars fish and chips for six dollars which i will be in for and it is open for lunch and dinner. Yeah, I have to say, when I first saw, you know, like a seafood shack, I'm thinking, ugh, am I really going to be paying additional costs for that? But the price is really reasonable. So depending on the length of your cruise, if you are wanting to get something a little bit different, you know, to be able to grab fish and chips for $6 is yeah, pretty good. You'd spend that for fish and chips anyway, so. Another additional cost option is Bonsai Sushi, and the menu has a variety of delectable sushi and sashimi. So some of the menu options and prices are miso soup for $2, sushi rolls for $5, California rolls, as well as green tea cupcakes for $2. Mm. So again, it's it's not a huge upcharge, but they are charging you extra for it. And this will be open for lunch and dinner. They should have the green tea cupcakes at the green eggs and ham meal. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, there's also the chef's table. You can get VIP access with dinner hosted by the master executive chef. Uh, with, with groups of 14 people, you get cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, a full tour of the galley, followed by a three-course meal not found on any other menu, which is great. The dress code for this is cruise casual or elegant, so again, a little bit upscale, but stay comfortable. So you will want to make a reservation for this as seating is limited. You can make reservations with guest services on the ship. The cost is about $75 to $95, and it is for people who are 12 and up only, so uh, no children. So our last additional charge restaurant or place that we're gonna be talking about is the Java Blue Cafe. And this is for all you coffee lovers out there. You wanna make sure that you check this out. They've got everything from traditional coffee and tea to spiked milk, uh, to spiked coffees, milkshakes, and frappuccinos. They also have some delicious looking baked goods and the cost is anywhere between $1 and $6, depending on which item you're looking to get. 
So that's everything in terms of your additional costs as well as your food restaurants and places that you can check out that are included. So we also wanted to give you a little bit more information around the dress code because we have said cruise casual and elegant a couple times but we want to make sure it's really specific. I know we had an experience once on NCL where and was a little bit frustrated. We'd shown up to the main dining room and he had to go back and change. Well, the last thing you want to do when ships are this big is go from <laughs> the back of the ship all the way down to like, you know, the bottom of front of the ship and then have to go back to change to come back when they're not specific about a dress code. Yeah, so we want to break this down for you guys so you don't have that same experience. Uh, cruise casual dress code. So what and does that mean? Just to be clear, I had to be dressed formally and there were still people wearing the American flag. Tuxedo, tuxedo suits. Tuxedo suits. And uh, jeans. Like... So Aaron was wearing a really nice pair of like golf shorts and a golf shirt, but you had to have long pants. So you could wear, you know, your jeans and just a regular t-shirt. So yeah. anyway, I guess clearly Aaron is still feeling that. <laughs> Um, so casual code, uh, casual dress code. So what is cruise casual for men? That means sports slacks, khaki pants, jeans, long dress shorts. So those shorts would have been acceptable on carnival as well as collared polo shirts for women, summer dresses, casual skirts, pants, capris, dress shorts, jeans, blouses and tops and what is not allowed so this is what you might really want to pay attention to no cutoff jeans men are not allowed to be wearing sleeveless shirts t-shirts gym or basketball shorts baseball hats flip-flops or bathing suit attire so that's just good to know what's not allowed as well and then Aaron can take you through the elegant uh, cruise elegant as well as they will have a couple formal evenings I was just gonna say for those who are interested in a American flag tuxedo. I'm sure it's on Amazon. If I find one, I will put a link in the <laughs> description below so you can, which is apparently compatible with what I'm about to talk about. So cruise element, elegant or formal events. Uh, cruises that are two to five days will have one cruise elegant evening. Six days or longer cruises will have two. Uh, the, for men, that is dress slacks, dress shirts. They'll also suggest a sport coat. So that's just a suggestion may also wish to wear a suit and tie or tuxedo if that's what you want to go with. So basically you can go as high as you want, but your minimum requirement is basically uh, wearing the dress shirt and dress pants. Um, for women, it's a cocktail dress, pantsuits, elegant skirt or blouses. Ladies may also wish to wear an evening gown. So again, you can dress up pretty well as far as you want, but just a nice sort of cocktail dress or pantsuit. So what's not permitted, permitted more specifically, jeans, men's sleeveless shirts, shorts, t-shirts, sportswear, baseball hats, flip-flops, or bathing suit attire. So no bathing suits on your <laughs> cruise elegant night. Well, also that's that. the night you can't even wear your nice long shorts. It does yes. need to be the dress pants. Or the American flag pants that... You're so getting a flag suit of some kind. I should. I wonder if they have a Canada flag one. <laughs> to be fair, we were there July 4th, but there was also July 1st because our cruise went over July 1st and July 4th. So I really should have purchased a Canada suit. And you love suit. wearing suits so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> be a lot of red. So they also have some different dining time options that we wanted to give you some information about while we're talking about dining. There's three options to choose from. They will have your traditional dining where you have assigned seats and they'll have an earlier late seating and then you also have a your time open seating. So the early dining is at 6 p.m. The late dining is at 8.15. And if you're choosing the your time dining, it's anywhere between 5.15 and 9 p.m. And when you book your cruise, you'll have the option to choose which preference you want. If it's not av available, you can go on a wait list to hopefully get well, you get to choose, you get, wait list for the time you want, and then you'll choose an alternate time. If you are booking your, um, if you're booking in a group and you have a set time, everybody in that group needs to have that set time. So even though you link it, so maybe we go and we are able to get the earlier dining time and we link with a family group that's coming as well, but they haven't been able to get that, we won't be seated together. So everybody does need to have that same time to be able to be seated together. Maybe they'll be able to wiggle something out, but don't think that just linking it automatically means you get to sit together. And the first day of a cruise, you always hear the, those complaints happening. So 
make sure that you're not having to sit in the customer service line for hours when the ship's starting. So Yeah, not how you necessarily want to spend your first day. Yeah. Also, if you are uh, doing the anytime dining, uh, and we've been a pretty it's usually what we do. Usually fan of those, uh, it is a seated on a first come first serve basis but what i like that carnival has is pagers so you don't have to be standing around so sometimes you see these huge groups of people just standing around waiting so you can get a pager go off wherever you want to wait relax on the ship and come back when your table's ready for you they say that it's usually within 20 minutes but i guess it you know you'll have your peak time but at least having a pager is a nice option for you but they don't take reservations so you will have you can't call ahead to those main dining rooms uh, the only places that take reservations are the specialty dinings. And just keep in mind, if you are traveling with a large party, most of the tables in the dining room are set up to six. So if you're a party larger than six and you're doing the anytime dining, if you show up, you're probably going to have your group split up and it could take a long time to get seated. So for you guys, it would probably be best to pick a set time you know, whatever is going to work best with your group, maybe whatever everybody can get in your group. So you're not having to deal with the long waits for dinner anyway. And this might be the most important thing for many people watching this video. Carnival Cruise Lines serves Pepsi. So <laughs> if you are a Coke fan, uh, you will probably want to bring your own Coke. Uh, however, Pepsi is served on board. We know there is a big debate as to cruise. Some people will even only pick cruise lines where they have their preference of drink package. Uh, yes, again, it is Pepsi. Yes. And just want to mention one more time, if you guys have heard or picked, oh yeah, I really want to try that specialty restaurant. Make sure you do book when you can because it would be, it, it's just disappointing if you are really set on wanting to try a restaurant and you can't get it because it's all booked out on the days that you are available. So if you've got a cruise coming up and you think one of these restaurants are ones that you want to want to go for, I'd, you know, check to see if you can book it now because they will uh, book up. That's kind of the point of this video is to let you know what's, what's going to be available so you can, you know, choose where you want to spend your money and what restaurants you want to go to. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I usually have a list or a note on my phone, especially the ones that are included. I like hitting up all the included that I can. When I go away, like we're very, we like to do a lot. We like to experience a lot, but I do like to try and get to every single one I can that's included and at least try something there. So making sure that I got my list that I know what's included and I can mm -hmm. hit it all up. So there you have it. That is the list of all of the restaurants that you're going to have aboard the Carnival Mardi Gras. Uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have a comment, you want to, you know, provide any additional information to us, throw it down in the comments below. Please do share this video if you found it interesting or if people are traveling with you and you want them to know what restaurants are on board. Uh, thank you very much and happy travels.